Morning guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm out with Adam, who along with being my mate, tends to be my hiking and wild camping buddy. So we're off out on a walk today and I thought I'd bring you along because I'm going to shoot some film. And I'm going to try something different today. So I'm going to be shooting some Cinestill 800T, which is really famous for being shot at night and for having artificial lights in. Well, I'm going to try shooting some landscape photography and shooting it in the daytime. And not just the daytime, but a day when it's really quite bright and hazy. So I've got a roll of 35 mil and a roll of 120. I'm going to be shooting the 120 on my Mamiya M645. And I'm going to be shooting the 35 mil on my Canon EOS 500N. So just set off now from Cutthroat Bridge Car Park down near Lady Bar Reservoir, heading up towards Stanage Edge. So when we get out of these woods, get the film loaded and get some shots. But yeah, I thought I'd bring you along. We're also gonna have a bit of food in a bit as well. Not lamb. Um, so yeah, thought I'd bring you along. See you in a bit. <laughs> Okay, so first apologies if I'm super blown out, but I am walking directly towards the sun. Uh, film's all loaded now. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention beforehand was, just watching where I'm going, because I'm going downhill. Um, Cinestill do recommend that you shoot 800T with an orange filter if you're shooting in the daytime. Now, although I've got one of these for the Mamiya, I'm not for the Canon. And so rather than shooting one with and one without, what I thought I'd do is shoot them both without and then I'll show you the unedited scans and I'll show you them once I've corrected them if I do need to correct them but that way you can see more of a direct comparison between 35mm and 120 rather than one being filtered and one not so just heading down through the valley now and uh, yeah hopefully we'll be getting some shots soon also as well I forgot to mention before but Adam that I'm with, he's got his own channel as well, all about hiking and walking and uh, wild camping and the outdoors, basically. So there'll be a link to his channel down below. Make sure you go check it out. So, after a bit of a climb, feeling a bit warm, and uh, we're both about ready to have some food. So, this is a spot that Adam knew about. So, if we just spin around, little grouse up there, so we're gonna settle in here and uh, cook some grub.
So back home now and warming up a little bit after a very cold morning. And I just want to firstly say a huge thanks to Harrison Cameras in Sheffield. So whenever I need images uh, developing in a rush or if it's over a weekend, I always use Harrison Cameras because Peak Imaging, who I normally use, they're only open Monday to Thursday and they sometimes can take a little bit longer to develop. So I dropped both rolls of filming on my way back um, on my way back home and within an hour I'd got both rules developed, scanned, emailed to me, downloaded and I'd looked through them all. So thank you so much to Harrison's uh, great service and I've mentioned them on this channel many times before. I buy as much of my camera equipment from there as I possibly can. It's an independent shop in Sheffield but they also do printing services and, uh, and developing as well so huge thank you to them. And I'm really, really surprised. So all of the images that you've just seen are completely unedited. There's no corrections on there. There's no changing of levels. They are literally as I received them back from the lab and I'm absolutely over the moon with them. I really, really, really like the results that I've got. Um, now, don't get me wrong, they're not perfect. Um, there's a couple of images where I've got the exposure wrong um, on both 35 and 120. Um, there are a couple of frames uh, that I took on the Mamiya where there's almost kind of like a, a bar across the image of, of bright light and I don't know if that's something to do with the roll or a, a leak on the camera somewhere. I'm not sure what it is. If you do know, I'll put, a, I'll put an example up on screen now. If you do know what that is, then please drop me, drop me a message in the comments and let me know because it's something that I've had a couple of times but it's not on every roll so that's certainly something to look at. But all in all, I'm really surprised. I, I knew that I loved Sinistel anyway because of when I've shot it at night. And if you've not seen that before, that video will be up in this corner here. Um, but shooting it in the daytime, I'd, I'd seen a couple of, of like daytime shots, but nothing that was landscape. And going out on a cold, frosty winter morning, the tones that I've got back from those images of you, that you've just seen, they really reflect that to me. And a lot of the time with landscapes, everything is really, really warm and rich. And this is completely different to that. Now, it might be different if I was doing landscape images in the summer or if I was shooting like a nice sunset. But I think that the images that I got really represented the conditions of the day and, and it's quite a, an accurate representation. Not obviously real life like for like, but for me, Film is, isn't about it necessarily being real life and, and exactly as you see it. It's about how film makes me feel. And looking at those images, I feel like I'm back out again. Um, and I know that when I look at those images in years time, I'll remember exactly what it felt like being out this morning with Adam. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, really impressed. Now you'll notice that I didn't take any shots of either myself or Adam face on. Um, that's because I've heard reports of people trying to do portraiture with Sinistil in the daytime and it really having quite strange results on skin tone. So I didn't bother even uh, even trying that. But the couple of us that I got where we'd got obviously our coat on, so I've got a yellow coat, Adam's got an orange coat. I'm really happy with how they came out. I think that it was it's pretty much as it will have looked in the video clip. So I'm really, really happy with that. Overall, I'd say that this sort of experiment, as it were, is a, is a massive success and it's definitely something that I'd, that I'd do again, 100%. Uh, I thought that I'd have been a lot further out in terms of my exposures because obviously you saw how sunny it was, 800 ISO, uh, also on the Mamiya, the Mamiya only shoots up to 1 500th of a second, whereas I could have done really with it being the Mamiya 645 1000 which unsurprisingly shoots at a thousandth of a second but now i'm really happy with the results let me know what you think let me know which images you liked whether you whether you liked the tones that he gave those real cool tones with the greens and the blues or whether you prefer whether you prefer much warmer landscape images uh, also let me know if you've tried sinister out in the daytime as well and if you if you did did you use a warm filter did you use an orange filter to to counteract that or did you shoot it just as it was other than that make sure you check out adam's video uh he's editing his video as we speak so 
hopefully that'll be done by the time this comes out and if so it will be linked down below and also if I can it'll be up in that corner as well make sure you go and check out his channel and other than me other, other than me other than that that's it from me and I'll see you in the next video